Good morning. Um, first things first, let's look a little bit more human because we don't talk about it. That's a little bit better, feeling a little bit more refreshed. Good morning, everybody. Um, I thought, <laughs> firstly, I wanted to say thank you, actually, because just all of your kind comments and everything on my last vlog, just thank you. It really blew me away. Uh, anyway, we're back. I'm doing another vlog. Today, I've got, I got a list. And on my list is to go to the tip. I oh, know, thrilling. Um, I also want to organize under my kitchen sink. So it's gonna be a little come organize with me. And I've also got a few deliveries today and that kind of thing. So I thought it'd be a nice little home vlog. I've also got a lot of laundry to do. I did so much laundry yesterday. In fact, here's a little clip. So does anyone just like ignore the fact that they have adult responsibilities for a few weeks and get overrun with laundry? Cause this is me. <laughs> I am regretting not doing this a week ago because now I have so much. I have all of my towels, bedding times like three colors, uh, kitchen stuff, blacks, uh, underwear, like, oh my God. Oh my God. And let me tell you, the mountain of laundry has not finished. I am not even halfway through. Um, <laughs> So I have a little bit more of that to do today as well. But yeah, let's get on with the day. I am going to quickly have breakfast first. I went to Marks and Spencers yesterday. Um, I actually got a whole bag of Easter things. I'll show you in a bit. But um, I treated myself. These are pancakes. Now it is pancake day next week. I've actually got a pancake day with my family this weekend, but I saw these and I was like, I need them. So I'm gonna have a few of these pancakes. Am I gonna have all of them? There's four. Am I gonna? Yes, I'm probably gonna have all of them. Um, but also I got this, which is temptingly chocolatey cream from MS Food. Now this is squirty cream. I know that in America, you don't call it squirty cream. Um, I think you call it like whipped cream or something, but I swear whipped cream's different over here. This literally, the lid comes off and it's in a can that you shake and then you squirt it, hence squirty cream. But anyway, so I'm gonna have breakfast before I get started. I think I'm then gonna quickly go to the tip. You can come with me if you want. <laughs> and then the organize with me, I'm taking everything out from both of my sinks just to see how many cleaning products I do actually have in my house. I think it's gonna be more than I think I have. Um, but then we're gonna try and organize them. Uh, I think it's gonna be overwhelming, but it needs doing. Let's get on with it. Uh, <laughs> I'm hungry. This is Cardboard Mountain. I get one of these at least once a week and I need to take it to the tip, which is down the road. So I'm gonna pack it in my car and go recycle it. The sun has definitely decided to come out today. I can't, I mean, maybe I should put my sunglasses on actually. Sunglasses, where are you? Here they are. <laughs> Let's switch. Yeah, I can see a bit better now. Yeah, so I'm just gonna pop down to the tip. I don't know how much I can film that, but <laughs> let's go. just got back um i just wanted to say that driving without listening to anything so no music no podcasts it's not something i do very often but there's something really nice about that kind of peace 
that I rarely get in my day-to-day -day life and yeah I guess I just wanted to say if you've if you've not had any peace for a while and you drive or even walk do it with silence it's actually quite nice um <laughs> yeah anyway let's go inside I'm gonna get started with the cleaning product um sort out in a moment but <laughs> honestly the laundry never ends i got so much done yesterday but i still have so much left um oh it smells so good um if anyone wants to know what i've been using um the diva divine surf and do not get me started on this comfort this is apple blossom it's probably my favorite and that is what heaven smells like. But yeah, I'm just gonna throw a load in and get started. Right, so let's see what we've got to play with. So in my last vlog you saw under my other sink, I will show you in a minute, but the washing machine, dish, um, dishwasher, the washing machine and tumble dryer are currently on. So this is under my main kitchen sink. And as you can see, uh, everything's, everything's a little bit chaotic and I don't know what I have. Nothing is organized and that's what I want to tackle today. So I don't know why I've got a million washing up bowls under here. I don't even use washing up bowls. So I think I'm going to just take everything out, put it onto my kitchen surface and do the same with my other sink, which I will give you another look at now. So this is under my other sink and yeah, it's, I don't know what I've got. There's a lot of different things all over the place and this has been on my mind for over two, well, basically since, it's been one of the main things that I wanted to sort out, knowing that I live on my own now, um, because it's been bothering me for a long time that there's no organization here and I never know what I have, so I can end up buying like repeats of things, like air fresheners, because I can't find one I've bought before. So I'm gonna take everything out <laughs> and I'll show you what I got. Oh God, it's gonna be so much, I'm, I'm nervous. I've got to say guys, that makes me happy. And here's the other one in here. It is also empty. You wait till you see how much I've got. All right, <laughs> this is where the, the shame comes in because to be fair, they've all got purposes and I do use them all. I just need to know what's what and organize it. Cause you know, I've got window cleaners in with like washing up liquid. I didn't even know I had these washing up liquids. Um, all my bin buddies, they've got I need to put all my um, comforts and detergents together, uh, all of my <laughs> air fresheners, carpet foams, more disinfectants, like everything's very scrambled. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna start with these trays. I bought these a few weeks ago with this project. Um, in mind so i have four of these and i may need more but this is what we're starting with um i've also got my label maker which is my beloved dymo lectra tag not spawn just obsessed with label making and i'm gonna i think i'm gonna do um like washing machine like detergents and conditioners I'm then going to do um, washing up maybe and kit. well I'll have a kitchen one I think, maybe general cleaning one and I don't like the, I don't like labelling things miscellaneous so I'm not sure what I'm going to label the other one yet but I think we'll start, I think I will start with the, uh, the washing ones and the kitchen, I'm just going to go for it. So I'm going to get all the surfs together, um, which I, don't, I think I might actually be running out of these. 
Um, this one's probably my favorite, Surf Coconut, love that. Deep Sea's quite nice too. And if anyone's wondering why there's, <laughs> why some of these have got like um, my, <laughs> Cheryl. Uh, my name's not Cheryl, by the way, it was an in-joke with my housemates. But um, yeah, I labeled the things that were mine. So there we have it. Next up, I'm gonna get all of the comforts out. Um, this one, you would have seen me buy the other day. This was huge, I was gonna have to go at the back. <laughs> my doorbell just went and I got some very exciting deliveries. I will, we'll go into that later. Right, so the first one's done. Look how neat this looks. <laughs> I can't tell you how happy this makes me. <laughs> like, look. Okay, so that's tray one. Um, I've added the color catcher in the back and also my Vanish um, power gel. The only things that don't fit are these tumble dryer sheets and this massive thing of uh, Vanish. I think those will fit behind here and live quite comfortably. So I might put this tray in. Like guys, look how good it looks. Now, there are gonna be a few issues in here. Obviously I can't put a tray in there because of the pipes and there is only a certain amount of height here. So I'm gonna have to get creative. I can't move the shelf up again because of the pipes. So I'm gonna have to fit as much as I can under here because this is where the two extra trays will fit. I don't wanna put a negative spin on this vlog, <laughs> but I have been collecting these charity bags that get posted through my letterbox. Like they insist, you can't opt out. They're always posted through the letterbox. It's a very popular thing here in the UK. And don't get me wrong, I would also like to say that I donate to charity shops, um, specifically the British Health Foundation, I'm mad. Um, I donate on a almost bi-weekly basis, if not more regularly, but the plastic waste is something that I think we should all be discussing. Um, I've not even lived here that long, a um, couple of years. I just got mountains and mountains of these um, charity bags. And don't get me wrong, I'm all here to support things like leukemia and melanoma research, um, children cancer research, bliss, which is for babies born premature or sick. Like I am here to help these charities and I would love to donate to them, but it really puts me off being sent so much plastic waste when I, as I said, I donate so regularly and I never use these bags. So why am I being sent them? Like I will always have bags around that I can take my stuff to a charity shop in. I just don't think this is necessary. And I do know that some of them say that they will try to recycle these bags, but it's like, they just end up in people's homes or they go directly into the bin and there must be a better way. Yeah, they've just been sitting under my sink because I feel really bad about like binning them because they're just plastic and I'm not really sure what to do with them. I know that when um, Chris lived here, they used to use them for the cat litter tray um, just so they didn't go to waste. And even with using those on a regular basis, like. I don't really know what else to say. I just wanted to moan about it. I just think having things that are posted for your letterbox like that without being able to opt out, it just didn't sit right with me. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below. Um, it's not about the charities reaching out. I think that they could do that on a flyer that's recyclable um, and it would probably have the same effect. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. I'm just sitting here with a pile of bags. Like, I don't know what, I don't want them, but I don't want to bin them because I'm adding to the plastic problem. <sighs> anyway, let's carry on organizing. <laughs> I'm getting there. We're making progress. I do believe I am done. Um, something I will say, I definitely should have bought at least two more of those trays. I will probably go back to Ikea and get some at some point, but... <laughs> I am looking at my cupboards and I'm just like, yes. I'm just like, hmm, she's neat. She's an organized queen. Okay, here is sink number one. <laughs> 
I am obsessed. Okay, let me give you the tour. So in here, we have got the washing up liquid, disinfectant, glass cleaner, and dishwasher products featuring my favorite Zaflora disinfectant, just saying. Um, and then I have these little pull out things. Um, these are from, I think they're from Homebase. And I got one for tea towels and they're all neatly folded in there. And then I've also got one for dishcloths and these are just so easy to bring in and out. So that's those. I have my dishwasher tablets here. I just thought that that space fit them quite nicely. And then here I've got my concentrated disinfectants, my bin buddies and general kitchen cleaners. So like hob cleaners and that kind of thing. And then this is where I need another one of these. And this is for like sponges bin liners, um, food caddy liners, and general kitchen bits and bobs. That's also where I've stored all of those plastic things and I'm hoping to eventually use them. But yeah, so there's cupboard number one. How much better does that look, guys? Just a quick little before and after. I'm so obsessed. Um, something I do actually want to get is some peg storage because this isn't doing it. So I've actually left those out, but this is my uh, utility cupboard. <gasps> Look, okay. So we've got the detergents and conditioners. Down here we have my general cleaning products, things that I use all of the time. So we have like a row of um, air fresheners, my carpet foams, polish, and other general bits and bobs that are cleaning. So that's cute. Now over here, I've got my steamer because <laughs> girl does not use an iron. I steam things if I need them. And then I have a gap here. So I'm probably going to get another one of these trays for there. And I'm also going to get some peg storage. But this is what it looks like for now. And this is what it looked like before. How much better does that look? I am thrilled. The only things that I have not put away yet are these. They'll probably end up going in the utility one as well. Um, floor cleaner and some carpet cleaners and a bug killer. That can probably go maybe in here with some other little gardening bits. We shall see, but I just can't tell you how much satisfaction and joy that that just gave me. Like. I want to do my whole house, I want to do all the cupboards, but that's been bothering me for weeks. So now that it's done, I'm just like, <laughs> very happy. Um, girl's gonna hydrate, cause haven't had a drink today. What is wrong with me? <laughs> it's literally quarter to one in the afternoon. I haven't had a drink. I've had breakfast, but I haven't had a drink. I'm gonna go hydrate, cause also, thank you for all of your recommendations about how to hydrate and how to like remember and stuff. A lot of you guys said get one of those bottles with times on. Um, bottles don't help. I have a really good bottle that I do have and I bought for a purpose and it tells me how much I've drunk and all that. I just ignore it. <laughs> I also use the apps on your phone that tell you to drink every hour. I just ignore those notifications as well. I. I'm a lost cause when it comes to hydration, I think. <laughs> oh, right, also, can I just tell you guys about these glasses? I don't know if you can see. Um, they say the blind pig, they're etched glass, they're from Litjoy, and they say now serving giggle water. So it's fantastic beasts. And um, I bought four of them. They weren't the cheapest, I gotta say. I became one of their lunacons so I could access their secret shop because I saw that they were doing these and I was like, I need one. I think they've just bought out a new one as well, like a new magical pint glass. And I want them all because they're so pretty. I've got enough pint glasses so I don't need any more now. Um, but I thought you might like to see them in case you want to add a little bit of magic to your kitchen. But, um, Cheers, everybody. Dang, that's good. Pressed pear and elderflower. Right, I told you the other week that I bought some prints like two years ago. I showed you one of them, which was the Your Ball poster. And little did I know they were American poster sizes and buying those frames, I think it was like an 18 to 24 inch frame, are so hard to get here in England. <laughs> um, but I did find some, Oh, let's not show you my address. <laughs> I did find some on Amazon. 
last night um the reviews weren't great so these may go back but we'll see um Um, the review said that they were quite flimsy and they arrived broken. Um, so let's see, but oh my god, I'll go to it you. Right. Uh, so let's see. I bought um, a black frame for the utility room for the your ball poster, and there was another one which was oak. This is the one for the your ball poster. Okay, okay, sorry, I just knocked you. <laughs> Oh, oh, ooh, okay, okay, it's not broken, it looks quite good actually, it's upside down, but, whoop, <laughs> stop it, <laughs> okay, here it is, here's the frame, um, I'm excited, okay, let's, um, I swear to God, if this doesn't fit, I'm gonna cry. So saying that, there is a bit of damage in the backing board. Can you see there? Um, yeah, can you see it's kind of fractured? I don't think it's gonna affect anything, to be fair, when it's up, so I'm probably not gonna bother sending it back. But um, there is the damage. Oh, um, why is that so satisfying? <laughs> I think there's one on the other side as well. Okay, I got it in its frame. Does it look good? Oh, oh it does, oh my God. Ah, I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, so this is going in my laundry room. Um, it's Hermione in her blue dress. I will link this down below. It's by a company called Window Shop Girl. I've spoken about it before um, and I bought this years ago. They are still available. You can also get Hermione in her pink dress if you'd prefer, but we like book accurate. Um, I just thought this was so cute. I am obsessed. I think this looks so good in the black frame because of its black accent at the bottom. Oh, I love it! <laughs> I'm so excited to frame the other one. Oh my God. So the other one is an oak frame and this is for upstairs at the end of my hall. I'm just, gonna... let me show you. Ah! Eee! Okay, I've not seen this one yet. <laughs> oh! I love it. Oh my goodness. Train services and fares from Hogwarts Express stations, offices and agencies. Um, so this one's for the end of my hall near my bedroom and <laughs> obsessed. I think this was the perfect color frame for it. I think it just really goes with all the colors in Hogsmeade. Um, also matches all of my doors in my house. And <laughs> God, this feels so surreal. I bought these so long ago and now I've put them in their frames and <sighs> feels good. It feels good. <laughs> so this is them both side by side. Obviously I've gone for different vibes with the frames, but they're not going to be displayed together anyway, but oh, just adding a little bit of magic into my home. Sorry if you can hear any flapping or washing machines. Like, it's so windy today. It's making all the vents in my house go pow, pow, pow. Um, I was just looking for a tape measure. I cannot find mine. I think I'm gonna have to buy a new one. Um, but I really wanted to show you this. This was actually handmade by one of our ma Magical Ally family members called Lee. Um, Leah? Hopefully it's Lee. L-E-A. You know who you are that made this. How cute is this, guys? It's Luna's Spectrospex, but with, it's got tape measure in it. She made me this little sewing kit, and sorry, not sewing kit, knitting like um, care package. Thank you so much, Voye. I adored it, but this was one of the things inside, and she's like crocheted or knitted this Spectrospex, but it's tape measure, which is so cool. And I'm going to measure where I need to put um, my your ball frame. So <laughs> thank you very much. You've saved the day.
how gosh darn cute does that look for a laundry room piece of artwork. I am obsessed and I'm really proud, it's really central, I put it up myself. <laughs> oh, I love it, I've been dreaming of this here for so long. I've put the next picture up, here it is. So my bathroom is here, my bedroom's there and it's so nice. <laughs> it's hard to show you without the lights reflecting. I mean, that's not helping, is it? But um, I love it. I think that's so cute. Feeling mildly irritated because I went to the tip this morning, well, we did, and Girl's got a pile of cardboard going on already. Um, I'm literally cardboard queen. Uh, I am like, I should have my own recycling center. That's how much cardboard I get through. Um, I'm about to make lunch. Um, I've got two little lonely, doesn't look appetizing, does it? I've got two little lonely sausages that I cooked last night because I did bangers and mash. Um, do have some leftovers of that for tomorrow, but, um, Gonna make a cheeky little sausage sandwich. Haven't had one of those for years. Um, and then crunchy blast ice cream for afters because treating myself, I mean, you know, why not? So yes, um, I'm gonna put some red sauce on my sandwich. And then what, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna quickly have lunch and I'm gonna show you the Easter stuff that I got from Evanes the other day. Mom, dad, if you're watching, just turn off now, please, because spoilers. All right, let me show you the things I got from M&S. Um, they got all their Easter stuff out. M&S is a place I love to just wander around. Firstly, I bought myself an Easter egg. <laughs> Uh, this is the extremely chocolatey biscuity egg like what it's a hollow milk chocolate loaded with biscuit pieces um, And you can see all the biscuit pieces in there. Oh, yeah So yeah, I got that one for me. I got this for my best friend Rach It's a little chirpy chick. I just thought it was so cute That she needed one. Um, I also got her a giant speckled egg like look at that look at that <laughs> oh, i got myself one of those too mom dad this is the time to look away shut your eyes and i'll tell you when you can open again because i know you watch the vlogs right shut your eyes okay so for my mom i got this oh it's so cute and then for my dad you better still have your eyes shut parents um, for my dad, I got this one. <laughs> ah, it's so cute. Um, you can open your eyes. <laughs> um, and then, um, <clears throat> my brother's birthday is coming up. He definitely does not watch my videos. Um, I found this, a little mini egg bar. I actually got this, not from m &S. This one's from Cadbury World. No, not Cadbury World. The Cadbury shop, um, that I found. So, yeah, I got that. And, um... Yeah, so I thought you'd like to see those little Eastery bits. Right, I think I'm actually gonna take you guys out with me because one of my best friends, Katie, she has a shop called Punny Dukes. You guys might know that by now. I've lost my shoes. Where are my shoes? There they are. Um, and she's shopkeeping today. So I'm gonna go drive over to the shop and take you with me because it's a magical shop and they've put a TARDIS in there. We can go visit Nigella the Niffler. Gotta say, it's not very warm today, but I'm just walking down to Punny Dukes, so I'm excited. I'm gonna buy some things. Right, I'm gonna have a big basket. Don't need a little basket. Let's move. Can I put your little basket somewhere? I need a big one. Yeah. What am I looking at? What? Oh, <laughs> it's a little crochet dobby. <laughs> Thought I'd take you shopping with me. I've got some crystals, witchy hats, all of the very good postcards by Katie which are very nice. The talented witch that she is. 
What else have we got? We got, I was just talking about your postcards and how fabulous they are. <laughs> We've got little cactuses, some more crystals, um, jewellery which I love. I have um, that ring and that ring, they're by Sam Ride. Very nice, very nice. All of the things are my favourite little acorns. Aren't they absolutely adorable? These are by Rach Makes and oh, they're so cute. So this is new. This is the Poor Lease box. Um, <laughs> this is so cool. And there's a button on it and it makes noises. <laughs> oh, okay. Pretty cool, not gonna lie. I approve. Okay, can I turn you off? You can be quiet. <laughs> and here's Nigella. I see so many of you guys come to visit Nigella in all her glory um, at Gringotts. <laughs> so, yeah, what have we got over here? We've got some potions, got some, these are cute. I like these little pumpkin juice. Thing is, got some magical books. Oh, these are nice. Witchcrafting, witch garden. Oh, I have not seen any of these. These are really cool. Oh, I like these. Like these a lot. Damage was done. It is so cold. Um, <laughs> I'm freezing. I'm putting my heaters on. Um, yep. Yeah. She spent some coins. Um, <laughs> I got many things. I'll show you when I get back. I also got some um, things for my best friend, one of my other besties as well. Um, I'm gonna go home now, make a cup of tea. Maybe it's so cold. Um, yeah, that was nice. Got to see Katie and Jeff. Love them a lot. Um, oh, just got a text. See you at home. I'm home. That was a really nice little trip out to get out the house. <laughs> I've got things, right, let me start with some of these then. So, first up, I got a book, which is called The Mystical Year, Folklore, Magic, and Nature. This is so cute, it says, explore the magic of each month, use the tips and practical projects in this book and create some of your own um, to harness its potential and make this your most magical year yet. So for April, which is my birth month, Let's see what it says. So um, there's a little quote to start each month. Um, and then it tells you what the moon name is. And there's some spells in here for those months, which is super cute. Um, tarot card of the month, which is pretty cool. Yeah, lots of cute things. And that was 13 pounds. Um, I got loads of um cards uh some birthday cards these are by katie i got happy birthday you prick and it's a little hedgehog got that for my brother's birthday um i got a card for my friend which says um keep your chin up the cheerful chinchilla i got another card for a friend that i'm not gonna show because i know that they watch my vids um same for that one um i got a few little um, stickers as well. Uh, some of these I'm not going to show because I know that my friends that I bought them for watch. Um, these I think you guys will like. Um, this is by Ink and Page Designs. There's some de decorations. So I got a sweet treat decoration that was eight pounds. And I also got this one as well, which is very cute. They're going straight onto my Christmas tree this year. Um, I got these for my bestie. She actually requested these. So this is my favorite coaster of all time. I actually have this myself. This was £3.50 and it says, check out my whiskers. <laughs> um, so I got that. She also told me to pick one at random. She's a nap queen. So I got this one that says, have a <clears throat> nap. And it says the nap raptor. And then I got uh, some socks, which I cannot show you what it says on them. Um, it begins with a C. <laughs> uh, what else did I get? I got um, this, which is a collaboration with um, Katie and her friend Ange, I believe. And it's one of her mists. And it says, rise like a phoenix, magical mist. And this smells so good. 
this oh my god i smell to all of them they've all got like natural um essential oils and this one i can't tell you how that takes me back to primary school for some reason that just smells delicious and then i bought a t-shirt now i don't know who this is by they didn't have any of their branding on it but how cute is that it was 20 pounds it's a pumpkin juice t-shirt I just wish I knew who did it, it didn't say. But I just think that's so cute. I got some things. Um, but yeah, I got plenty of greetings cards and a few little extra bits for friends. And there's my little haul. Um, I think I'm gonna perhaps wrap the vlog up here. I feel I've literally been vlogging all day. All right, guys, well, thank you for watching. Um, please, as the same as last time, if you enjoyed this vlog, <clears throat> give it a magical thumbs up. Um, and let's have a conversation in the comments down below. I can't wait to answer lots of your comments. See you soon.